I have error code E4, I have pulled the Kenwood dishwasher model KDW60S16 out and the water has emptied out of the pipes, put a new cold water feed pipe on it and it still displays E4, I see in one of your notes to remove the panel at the bottom but I can't see how to do this to remove any water in the base front slash flood sensor. Any ideas? What happened just before your Kenwood dishwasher displayed this message? ITHNK I may have knocked the buttons. How long has this been going on with your Kenwood dishwasher? What have you tried so far? Just started. Anything else we should know to help you best? We cleaned the filters out at the weekend and removed and cleaned the top tray spray arm. Hi, welcome to Just Answer I'm Patty and I will be your technician. The error code relates to the appliance leak protection. The float switch in the base may have been activated from excess water or moisture in the pan to the bottom of your dishwasher. Check for obvious leaks from the door, hoses or internally, if none are found attempt a reset of the float switch by following the steps below. Firstly remove the plug from the socket or switch off your breaker pull the dishwasher out from underneath the counter place absorbent cloth slash towels down to soak up excess water gently tilt the appliance backwards appropriately 45 degrees allow to dry for a period reconnect to the power hopefully your washer will now operate normally. I hope this helps Patty. Hi Patty, I disconnected the dishwasher and the cold water and waste water drained it, lots of wet towels, reconnected all the pipes and electric and it still comes up E4, could it be that it is not fully drained, I think this just happened as I leant against the control switches when making a cup of tea when I checked online it says to remove the bottom plaque cover at the front under the door as there may be water in there and needs drying out, but I don't know how to remove the plinth, model number is CDW60S16. Is there a front panel button reset sequence? Hi, did you tip it back? There is a float switch in a pan underneath which generally a polystyrene disc in a small well slash bath. Tipping back removes the water from the pan and the disc drops hopefully then cancelling the error code. Removing the panel is a different way to achieve the same thing by drying the pan with towels. Tip it back and let it dry for a bit you should be okay. Patty Hi Patty, took it out again and tipped it right over a little bit, half a teacup came out and this appears to have cleared the float sensor. So work second time around. Running it through a short wash to check it. Many thanks Ian. You are very welcome. Keep safe, Patty. Hello. We did all of the above. Error E1 has appeared now. It's full of water again. How can we drain it? I just want to know how to drain the appliance. Sorry was offline. F1 means there isn't enough water from your feed, check to see if the valve is open fully, but as you have water in the cabinet which is not draining I would suggest you have a leak which is activating the float switch again. Patty If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.